Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we have a Cup Cadet XT1, and I am going to show you where the starter solenoid is. If you guys are out there wondering where it's at, the starter solenoid is in a very odd spot. It's actually under the battery. So I'm going to take this battery out, and uh, I'm going to show you where the starter solenoid is, if you ever need to replace it. Okay, so... 3 8 on one side. This one right here, these bolts, these bolts are 3 8 on one side, 7 16 on the other. They can be all different bolts. If you're using wrenches, just make sure that you do not touch your wrenches. You gotta be careful by grounding out your wrench to the frame on a positive side. So you gotta be, be real careful about that, that you don't arc it. Just be careful, that's all. I'm just gonna push this off to the side here. These guys here can be a little tricky. I'm just gonna push it, push them out. If you push them from this side, they usually come out a little bit easier. This one's actually getting a little bit jacked up here. There it is. And be careful you don't arc this from your positive to the frame too, it'll arc. Take the battery out. Now, these are the battery hold, the, the battery tray. Basically, they're just two arms. If you turn them sideways and you pull them out, just watch right here. Okay, you turn sideways, pull it out. Now, you see the little notch right here. Okay, so when you put them back in, make sure the notch goes down and then in, and that's how you get them to go in and out. All right. And this guy here, the other side. Tip them out, a little tricky. Get that out of the way. If you need to take this other one out, now I'm going to use a flashlight. I don't know if it's going to help you or not, but the starter solenoid is way down yonder. So right here is the starter solenoid. That is the location right here. You see there's two studs, positive and positive. That is the starter solenoid. You can take this starter solenoid off by one. Since you now have the battery out, that's good. We have no 12 volts going to the starter at all. If you come around to the back side of the tractor here, there is a bolt. Okay, so this bolt right here, they actually have a blue line on it from the factory. This is probably an eight millimeter um, socket, but the tab for the starter solenoid fits in here, and then you only have one bolt to take it off to make it loose. So I would recommend taking this off by undoing your, unbolting the nuts on top um, right in here. Okay, so the nut on top here, they're probably gonna be 10 millimeter or 3 8 or possibly 7 16 you can unscrew them to get the cables out of the way. And then you do have other terminals on the back side of this, which I really can't show you. This is not how to take it out. This is just with the location of it. Uh, and you can pull them off. Pull your starter solenoid out if you know it's bad. And that's the whole point. This is the location. If it's bad, now you know how to replace it. Um, just make sure you get the right solenoid. Uh, this one actually has a little tab like I showed you on the back side here. So this solenoid actually has a tab. They no longer have two bolts. They make it pretty easy. There's a little tab instead of a bolt on the other one. So the new one will have this tab. You're just going to put it in there. You're going to screw the, the bolt back in, put it all back together again, and away you go. So that's pretty much the location for the starter solenoid and the Cup Cadet XT1. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below, and I will catch you on the next one.